Welcome to Mahjong Central. My name is Michelle. I'm going to do an exercise for American style Mahjong. This is using the National Mahjong League rules. If you don't know how to play yet, there's a link below the video to the lesson playlist. If you do know how to play, you know that during the Charleston, when you get those passes, sometimes your hand can really change. I like to do this exercise that I call chain reaction so that I can test my gut instincts. I have my tiles out and they have all been mixed. And I have my smartphone out too because I want to take photos along the way because we're going to recreate the hand. So let's say that we're the dealer for this exercise. So we'll take 14 random tiles and then I'm going to create the Charleston. This is a mock Charleston. It is not exactly the way it would be in a real game, but it is just really good practice. I'm going to take a peek here and see if we have any jokers because I want to be able to recreate this. And if we have jokers, exchanging for a joker will provide too many variables and we need to actually tighten that up so that we can recreate it correctly, accurately. All right, no jokers are in there. Let's see what we have to work with for this random pull. Okay, we're in between. Our multiples are two, one, and five. Now we could play one, two, one, two, three, or we could play one, three, five. Either way, we don't really need those. Let's take a photo of this so we can recreate it. All right, there's my photo. So let's pass. First incoming pass. We're going to take a photo. We got a five, the one, three, five, maybe. I don't know, this is, this five is a problem, or the two. Really, I think, I think one, two, I think the one, two is stronger. Maybe two, three, or one, two with the red. Or we could play a year hand. Let's keep this dragon. Let's pass that. and this one, two dragon or the year category. Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm gonna take a photo of that. We got year tiles. I'm not passing a pair. I won't do it. I won't do it. All right, we have one, two, one, two. We could play the one, two pair hand. Let's give up on some of these. I'm thinking we could play maybe a year hand. So let's give up on those three. Maybe the one, two pair hand. Let's give up on those. Let's take a photo. Two crack. four, six, five, pass. We'll take a photo. Two bam, looks like, like numbers. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let's go ahead and um, give up on the year and pass the green, I mean the red. Let's take a photo of that. Okay, we just gave up on that. 
two, two, one, two, white. Okay, let's give give those up. No keepers. Let's take a photo though. All right, let's pass. Looks like like numbers to me. Or one, two, the one, two pair hand, two consecutive numbers. That would be the pair hand that is the second from the bottom under singles and pairs. So we have four discards. If we played like numbers though, I would keep the white like numbers. This would be joker bait. So five discards with joker bait. Okay, so let's recreate this and see if a year hand came in better because that was another good looking opportunity. So I'm going to recreate this. Just remember we had five discards with joker bait. So basically seven discards. That's what we started with. So I think I was thinking either a one, three, five little odds or the year category. Either way, we can get rid of those. I think that's exactly where we started at the beginning. So let me recreate the Charleston passes. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what happens. I'm thinking either the year or little odds. So there's little odds. There's a year. We're in between. The thing about little odds, we have a one five. Let's get rid of the three. One, three, five dots. Let's get rid of the one. No. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's just as risky. If we're going to play one, three, five, let's get rid of the two. Let's just do that. Twos. <laughs> okay, here's odds. Let's just go the odds route, okay? So maybe we'll keep the five since it's an odd and the one. But we're, look at, we're left with all twos. I'm not going to pass that. That would be insanity. That would be pure insanity. We're not going to do it. Let's throw those. Okay. Evens. That's not helpful. Look at all these evens, including a pair. Joker bait. Let's throw these three. There's a five. And here's, oops. Here's a nine. We're back to like numbers. Let's get rid of those. Although we could do one, three, five, five, seven, nine, maybe the concealed hand. I don't like that. I don't like passing like numbers or two dragons at one time. One, five, 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 seven, nine. Let's give up the, let's give up the nine. Okay, there's a seven and a five. If we get a three dot and a nine bam, we could play that consecutive hand. I'm kind of holding this in case one, three, five, seven, nine comes in, but we can't keep it all. Let's throw these three. Okay, there's a nine. Oh, that's what I was hoping for. There's a three. Okay, that's just not good. Okay, let's do these for optional cross.
Okay, we got a one, a two, and a six, and a white here. All those are discards. This is terrible. Really, really, really bad. There is just no clear direction available here, really. Here's one, five, five, seven. I mean, I suppose we could go for the concealed odd hand. That leaves eight discards. We're, we might even be better off to play the year hand. Two, zero, one, or one, back to one, two, one, two. Year hand, maybe. I think we're much better off to break that up and re reassess to a consecutive hand or a year hand and get rid of those. At least we have joker bait and three discards. Definitely the consecutive or year category was the way to go because this was a disaster. When you play after the Charleston, do you feel like it was a big disaster movie? epic battle that's what happened here terrible write in the comment section if you have a strategy that you use during the charleston i would love to hear it i like building around multiples sometimes though it doesn't work i admit it sometimes it doesn't work but most times it does i think let me know what you think if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. After you click subscribe, you'll see a bell. Click that bell so you get notification of when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any strategy or insights into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next chain reaction for American style Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.